What's up learners? Today in this video we are going to see what's happening in Iran. The people of Iran are on the streets and demanding the death of the dictator. Or I may say the death of the current ruler of Iran, Mr. Ayatollah Ali Khamenei. But why? Protests are still going strong after almost about two months of Mr. Amini's death in the custody of Iran's morality police. The 53rd day of protests in Iran following the death of a young woman. The lead at the United Nations to ensure that Iran is immediately suspended and removed as a member of the Commission on Women's Rights. On September 16th, 2022, Mahsa Amini, a 22-year-old woman, died in the police custody, who was arrested by Mr. Khamenei's morality police for the crime of failing to cover her hair properly with the hijab. The regime also enforces hijab wearings with whippings. This rule, which is part of a broader apparatus to subjugate women, is passionately resented by the people and more by the women of the country. The Islamic Republic has strict rules on dress, behavior and mixing between the sexes in the public. Women's freedom is particularly curtailed in Iran. As we can see with the case of Ms. Amini, her only offense was wearing a loose hijab. He cannot protest and the public demonstrations are led by the women this time, which gives them an unusual strength. They are opposing the rules and the morality police simply by doffing and burning their headscarves in public. Some also cut off their hair or walk into the men's section of segregated student canteens, which is strictly prohibited. The protesters no longer demand bigger handouts or political reform within the system. But what they demand is the theocracy to be overthrown. This outrage has lasted longer than before and has spread beyond the middle class. Despite hundreds of deaths and over 12,000 arrests, Mr. Khamenei's forces have failed to quell the revolt. The protesters also say that they are not just revolting against the regime, but they are the revolution by themselves and they are giving birth to a new nation. Amid all of this what's happening in Iran right now, the question here is, will Iran's regime fall this time as history is recalling itself? If we look back to the Islamic revolution of 1978 against Muhammad Reza Pahlavi, it culminated in the overthrow of the Pahlavi dynasty. Now with such displays of 21st century morality, the regime feels threatened. But Mr. Khamenei is mostly to blame for this uprising. At first, the leadership of the regime was a mix of clergy chosen by their own council and representatives that are chosen by the people but only after they had been checked to make sure they were loyal to Islamic rule. Earlier, every four years, parliament and president were chosen. But in the past 33 years, where Mr. Khamenei has been in charge, his rule has been more and more harsh. His men on the Gajan council also kept pulling people off. Last year, they rigged the elections so that Mr. Raisi would win, who is a hardliner who obeyed the rules. The Republic had the lowest turnout of any time in its history. The body that controlled elections and provided a safety valve was taken away. Mr. Khamenei got rid of all the reformers in his theocracy. Also, by making the morality code stricter and increasing the fines for breaking it, Iran took away the little freedom that the people had. The regime is also getting worse and worse. In 2009, protests over a rigged presidential elections may have led to the deaths of up to 70 people human rights group also say that in 2019, it killed more than 1,500 people. So far, the security forces have been afraid by making things worse by shooting at people and school girls. But the level of repression today is worse than it was in 2009. Security forces have also sometimes missed warning shots on the people because they were too busy or too tired. It is also said that the regime also pays the police twice as much as they pay to keep them in order. The government is also keeping an eye on the people even more. It thugs, breaks into the homes of protest and steal their phones. High resolution cameras that were just put in can match people to their ID cards and cell phones. The government is also putting in place a countrywide internet to completely cut off Iran from the world wide web. Some VPN that were used to get around the internet are being shut down. The government has also cut back on streetlights and leaving the neighborhoods in the dark. But on the other hand, if we see, the economy may be the most powerful tool the regime has. Few people can afford to listen for calls for a general strike that lasts forever. At over 50% of inflation, 
is at its highest level in last 10 years. The value of the currency has dropped drastically and millions of people are now living in poverty. So the protesters have a long and uncertain way ahead of them. The biggest protests in the history have had tens and thousands of people but not the millions that helped to bring down the Shah. If the revolt is to succeed, more middle class men and more middle aged Iranians need to join the fight. On the other hand, if we see the regime security forces, police and Patreon body, the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps have stayed loyal so far. There have been no major people who have left the regime but at the top there has been a very strange silence. Even though Mr Khamenei asked the former president to condemn the protest and none of them have done so. Also, officials are becoming more and more critical of Khamenei's slow and rigid responses. Also, seminarians and Islamists who want to change things have spoken out against the regime's use of violence. If we talk about IRGC, it is not a single thing. It has lot of business interest and many of its top people are more interested in money than in religion. Some analysts also think that it could overthrow the Supreme Guide's government and establish the military rule. There is no doubt that Mr Khamenei and Islamic regimes are in more trouble now than they have been since the Shah was overthrown in 1979. They are not really sure what to do, whether to crack down further or to give ground to the people. The protest could still end like they have in the past, but there is a chance that they keep going on this time. Hence, the end of Islamic regime is getting closer. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you really like this one, please consider sharing it. I am Abhinav and you are watching Learn School.